This is part three of grocery week, the third and final part. I'm glad and my wallet is even more glad. Hey guys, it's Lori and it is Costco day today. I should get there right about the time they're opening. So hopefully they won't be super busy and I will show you my list when we get there. So you can see if I stick to my list or not. I think I'll do pretty good sticking to it because I'm really in the mood to just get in and get out. I'd really like to be able to wash my vehicle because it is so covered in road salt and just looks horrible. But that is not happening today because it is nine degrees Fahrenheit outside right now and it's zero degrees wind chill. So yeah, oh, my sock is all jacked up inside my shoe. I'm going to have to fix it. Okay. That's much better. That was super distracting. All right. I'm going to head out before a train comes and stops or does whatever it's going to do because you know that is just inevitable around here it's gonna happen eventually okay so there was actually a train this morning and it made me get Hayden to school about two minutes late it happens around here it really does gotta leave earlier we always say that every time there's a train oh we should have left earlier so anyway okay i'll see you at costco just got to costco and it is two minutes past 10. they open at 10. and this parking lot is so full oh my gosh there's lots of people just now going in too I thought I was being smart by coming early, but I guess everybody ha had the same idea, so. And gas here is the same price as it is at home, so I'm not gonna bother with filling up because I have just over half a tank right now. And it is just too cold to stand outside and pump gas right now. So yeah, Courtney was gonna come along today, but she actually had a doctor's appointment, so she couldn't. And I didn't really wanna wait until later but, and she's fine. It's just a routine appointment. It's the appointment that she rescheduled from last week's snow day. So she didn't want to miss it. Courtney and I like going and shopping at Costco together. But anyway, we'll have to do that next time. All right, here's my list. This mat right here, we have a couple of them and they're really nice. Uh, thinking about getting another one of those. So I'm gonna look and see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it, but. Anyway, here's my list. A couple things down here that were just added on this morning because Chase asked for those. So there we go. And right inside the door, I already see something that I know I need that is not on my list. And it happens to be on sale and it's double A batteries. $2 off, so $18.99 for a 40 pack. That's a really good price for Duracells. $11.49 for the 90 count Mott's. I'm gonna grab those. And I think I'm also gonna grab some of these as well. The fruit rolls, no added sugar, $9.99 for 48 of them. I think that would be something nice for Hayden's lunches. And Chase might like them too. And if nobody likes them, I can give them to Courtney for Braven or give them to Brooke for Phoenix. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab them. I am gonna resist these for $8.99, these butter toffee cashews. Oh my goodness, they look so good. <gasps> 64 granola bars for $8.99. Grab those. And the ashwagandha, $20.99 for $150. Me, John, and Brendan all use this, so I'd be tempted to get two, but I'll just grab one this time. If they're on sale, I'll grab two. And the acid controller. This is the kind I like. Eleven seventy nine. Two hundred and fifty altogether. Mouthwash Listerine. Thirteen ninety nine for two of those. $10.99 for two of the crest, or no, three of the crests, so I'm gonna grab both. I like the crest, John likes the Listerine. I do not like Listerine at all. $9.39 for the 18 count box of Ritz crackers. I'm gonna grab a box of those. That one looks a little smashed, so I'll grab this one. Also not on my list for $7.59 are these crispy jalapenos. These, uh, they did not have for the longest time. I mean, 
this for like a couple years. I haven't been able to find these, but I got them for Hayden once and he snacks on these. He loves them. So since they are back, I'm going to grab a bag of these for him. $7.59. I also picked up a pack of the King's Hawaiian Rolls. I think it was six. dollars 49 for those two 16 packs we've been doing sliders lately the boys are loving them so i'll grab those while i while, while i'm here because i can never find the king's brand 6.99 for the coffee mate i'm just gonna grab one this time because john's trying to cut down on this so if we don't have so much of it maybe it'll be easier for him to cut down i did promise the boys cinnamon toast crunch next time i came to costco i may just get two because they are on sale $5.49 for the two pack. I'm not gonna tell them I got two though. $15.89 for 18 boxes of Kraft Mac and Cheese. And I'm gonna grab that. The Tyson Crispy Chicken Strips are $4.50 off, $11.09 for the three pound bag. And I am gonna grab a bag of those. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have a recipe to use these with and it's a KFC casserole $25.99 for the thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breast last time I was here they had no Kirkland butter $13.49 for the four pounds of butter grab one of those Also not on my list is the heavy whipping cream, but Land Lakes brand for $4.29 is actually cheaper than the Aldi, I'm pretty sure. And it doesn't expire until six weeks out. So I'm grabbing it. Uh, Frigo cheese heads, string cheese 60 for $12.99. Craft Singles, $10.99 for the four pound package. 96 slices. They did not have these last time I was here. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these too. It's time to do some crossing off. Acid control mouthwash. Cinnamon toast crunch, Craft. Chicken breast, Tyson crispy strips, butter, string cheese, Craft Singles. is on my list this is kirkland signature but it also says it's reynolds premium quality food service foil this stuff lasts forever in fact i have a date on mine at home and when i get home we will take a look at that and see how long i've had it 28.99 for this foil and it's 750 square feet okay i'm going down this baby aisle because i do need some baby wipes but if you want one of these mats, they are they are down here in the grocery section. They're not over in like the other side of the store with all the home stuff. Here's the big mats. It looks like they might only have the brown color, but they also have a gray. So $9.99. They are $5 off right now. And the sale just started. Get into Costco if you want one of these. And they are heavy, heavy mats rubber backs and they clean up really well 30 inch by 47 inch indoor outdoor mat so the baby wipes are 20.99 for 900 of them and right here there's 900 packs in here so fragrance free yeah i'm gonna grab one of these if you need laundry detergent the gain is on sale four dollars off for $14.99 and the tide is also for $15.99. I'm gonna grab a game. That's a good price. I'm getting pretty full. 90 ounce Dawn for $11.99. I'm gonna grab one of those. It seems like I just got dish soap, but John actually used like the whole bottle <laughs> because the toilet clogged and it worked. But geez, there goes my dish soap. <laughs> They have the Arm & Hammer for $14.99, and I really like this. And this one, you get 50 ounces more for the same price. So I'm gonna switch out and get this one instead. Also on sale, 
for 200 ounce bottles of pine saw. I'm pretty sure I just paid about that price for one at Walmart. So I'm gonna grab these while they're on sale because I go through this stuff for work. And we got the floor mat. We got the Dawn pine saw foil, baby wipes and tissues. And we just need this stuff and we're done. $10.99 for this five cheese tortellini, two 24 ounce packages. That's actually a really good price. This would be fabulous for a quick dinner. Yeah, I'm getting it. $4.99 for rotisserie chickens. They haven't had them lately, but I am gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these. I can't record that because these are really hot and I don't wanna dump the juice. These big packs of ground beef are only $3.99 a pound. So I'm gonna grab two of the ones that are about seven pounds and I'm gonna be doing some food prep at the end of the week, so we'll talk about that. $6.39 for the two pound package of the great tomatoes. I'm gonna to go ahead and grab a pack of these. I do check the bottom to make sure it doesn't, <laughs> to make sure the bottom's not wet because one of them was and I don't want any nasty ones in there, so grab these. Okay, and that is everything on my list. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother to look around anymore because if I do like at these clothes and <laughs> who knows what else, uh, yeah, you know how it is. I'm just gonna get out of here and call it a day. So yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here before I act up. <laughs> yeah, like look at this. Oh, no, don't do it. See how filthy this thing is? Uh, all that salt. And I have someone waiting for my parking spot back here, so. Just a sec. Okay. I know, I took my seatbelt off. Goodness sakes. All right. I was just gonna stop and tell you how much I spent all together. <laughs> I'm just burning up. Oh my goodness, it's super cold outside, but I was really, really hot in the store, but I really don't like taking my coat off and then throwing it in the cart. It's just, anyway, I'm ready for spring. Okay, here is my receipt and it was $435.71, $435.71 all together. So that's not too bad. I think I've got a lot for that. Got a bunch of ground beef. Gonna be doing some meal prep, like I said, to put some things in the freezer. So that's what some of that ground beef is gonna be used for. And yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna be meal prepping, but I really would like to get some stuff in the freezer. Now that we have six people in the house, it's like sometimes when I come home and I really don't feel like cooking, but there's really not much to eat along the lines of leftovers. It's really nice to have something ready in the freezer to just pop in the oven or tell one of the boys, hey, I'm gonna be home in a few minutes, turn the oven on and pop whatever in, right? So anyway, I just wanna have something done because it's rough sometimes when I'm really tired and don't wanna cook, but they're hungry. And I'm the type that I like to take care of people, you know, especially my people. So they gave me this, I don't know what this is. Big game savings. Oh, they're trying to sell furniture and TVs, I guess for the Super Bowl. Okay, well, whatever. Everybody's gonna be drunk anyway. They're not gonna care, are they? So I already showed you my haul in the store while I shopped. I don't know if I'm gonna make meatloaf tonight. That's what some of that hamburger's for. I don't know if I'm gonna make meatloaf tonight or if I'm gonna do that KFC casserole. I can't decide. I'll decide on the way home and I will show you that before this video is over. Here is the foil from last time. This is clearly my old foil, so it's a little beat up looking and it is just about empty. As you can see, I keep waiting for it to be the last little bit to come off. See how tiny it is in there? But anyway, I did grab my new one. And if you recall, the price was $28.99 today. This one has lasted me since February 20th of 2019. And then the price was $23.69. So it has gone up a little bit. So just like everything else, it has increased in price. But this has lasted me since 2019. Yeah, so that's pretty good for that price, don't you think? I think so, for sure, because I do use my fair share 
a foil. I line pans with it and, you know, all the things you do with foil. But anyway, I'm happy to have a new one so I don't have to worry about ripping off like six inches and then it'd have it be gone when I need it. All right, so there's the date that I bought this one and just now buying a new one four years later. And let me just clarify. I said, did I say it was 750 feet? Because it, it that's what I thought. And that's probably possibly what I said, but it is 750 square feet. So it's 18 inches long by 500 feet or 18 inches wide, I should say, by 500 feet. So that's a lot of foil. We're getting ready to line a pan with foil. And guess what? <laughs> Perfect timing. All right, here's dinner tonight mac and cheese for the kids and some rotisserie chicken that I pulled off the bone. I was thinking I was going to do meatloaf or the KFC casserole tonight, but no, I forgot I was able to get these rotisserie chickens. So that's dinner tonight. I was thinking the meatloaf or the KFC casserole was just in case they didn't have any rotisserie chickens because lately they haven't. And in here we have some asparagus roasting and it's going to be done in just a couple of minutes. Then it's chow time. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.